A very warm good morning to you all. Uh, let me introduce myself to you. I am Chandini, and today I am here to present my PPT that is about online education. Uh, it played a major role in our recent times. So, let me talk about this online education. And coming to advantages of online education, it saves your time, energy, and money. So, instead of going here and there and wasting all our time and energy, we can uh, learn from, uh, we can learn directly from online. And online courses bring education right to your home. Students can recheck the video so that they can clarify their doubts. If you are having any doubts, instead of asking someone, uh, we can directly go through that video so that we can solve our particular problem. And we can also create our own learning environment. It all depends upon us. And coming to disadvantages of online education, like through face-to-face -face interaction, students may or may not concentrate, uh, students may, may or may not understand a particular subject. Uh, exams and grades can sometimes lead to stress and anxiety. Conducting back-to-back -back, back -back classes increases the concentration and interest in that particular subject. Uh, so that sports, uh, sports should be conducted in everyone's college at least once in a week. Uh, advantages and disadvantages. Online advantages. Online, online learning is more efficient, easily accessible, easily affordable at a cheap cost. It helps in time management. And coming to disadvantages, it can create a sense of self-isolation. It needs self-discipline. Cost of electronics such as mobiles, laptops, etc. increases. Uh, it increases screen time and causes eyesight issue. So finally, let us see uh, how this online study affects the students. Online study has become popular due to its convenience and, and easy operation. Online study has become a trend, especially during the period of COVID-19 a lockdown in 2020 and 2021. It played a major role in everyone's life. It is very convenient as both student and teacher can interact from their own places. The online study, uh, the on uh, do you have any questions? She's asking if you have any questions. Thank you for giving me this opportunity and thank you all for your attention. Good afternoon everyone. I am Kayok Shur from CSIT branch. Today I am here to present my presentation about artificial intelligence. What is artificial intelligence? The simulation of human beings' ideas is developed, developed process by machines or computers is called artificial intelligence. What are the common use of artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence is used to make image recognition and data processing object detection. 
some people are confusing artificial intelligence and machine learning are closely related artificial uh, machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence it is a software that developed from artificial intelligence difference between artificial intelligence and machine learning artificial intelligence is the software that taken by the computers according to the our given work machine learning is a skill we have to learn about machines it works on the computers program that does smart work it is a simple concept that makes machines data from learning from data thank you ai is the best way to learn about machine learning is that Thank you. Hey everyone. Hey everyone. This is Prakash from Team. Use your loud volume. Use the mic. Hey everyone. This is Prakash from Team Three. I would like to talk, present you a presentation about MCU. Everyone among us have watched or has watched our comics during our childhood. So today I would like to talk about MCU. it has launched its first movie it has launched its first movie in 2008 it's uh, iron man part 1 and uh, it's divided into five phases the first phase contains the five movies which which are very great and this sec coming to the second one which is uh, a bit lower than every phase among the marvel so the, the third phase of the marvel is the most crucial phase among all the marvel marvel cin cinematic universe today and and uh, it contains uh, it contains uh, high movies like uh, infinite war and end game so on phase 4 contains many web series that uh, marvel launched recently and uh, coming to fifth phase it's the most recent uh, phase of marvel which contains only two movies one is uh, quantum mania of ant man and the second one is the guardians of galaxy volume 3 microphone use and the future of the marvel consists of mainly three movies one is one is the marvels marvelverse saga second one is the kang dynasty and the third one is Mar secret war many rumors says that robert downey junior will be back in secret war and uh, thank you
Start. Very good morning to one and all. My name is Navin. I am here to present PPT Our Environment. First of all, let us uh, going into the this topic. First of all, we know about the uh, environment, uh, which is taken from the French word environer or encircle, which means that an encircle or surroundings. First, we know about the environment definition. Environment is the place, people, things, nature, and that surrounded around any around any living organisms. It is the combination of combination and human-made resources. First, here we see about some components of environment. There are three components of environment. We are all well know about the natural components. Let us see some of the natural components. Water, air, soil, and living things. Natural components are nothing but which are, uh, which are naturally obtained, obtained. Next, we go to Next, we go to man mode. Man made components. Man made components are nothing but the environment which is built by human beings. Like uh, we nowadays, we are constructing so many, so many buildings, roads, and uh, railways and bridges. These are all coming to the natural, not natural, uh, the environment which is made by human beings. Let us go to the third component, humans. It is nothing but including human related values and beliefs. For example, community, family and individuals and religions, etc. And nowadays we are, constru we are constructing so many fields and we do, uh, we are developing, but, but we are Thank you. Before thank you, if you have any doubts, so please ask. Okay, thank you. Good morning everyone. My name is Prasan Lakshmi. Today I want to present a PPT uh, regarding global warming. Global warming is the long term warming of planet's overall temperature uh, due to increasing in greenhouse gases like uh, carbon dioxide, chlorofluorocarbons and other pollutants. Global warming is gradual increasing in its temperature gradually due to greenhouse effect. Uh, green, uh, effects of global warming. Uh, scientists, uh, many scientists suggest that there are more, mainly four reasons uh, for causing of uh, global warming. That is increasing in uh, increasing in 
uh, pollution uh, increasing in uh, greenhouse gases carbon emissions etc effects of global warming uh, there are some effects uh, which causes global warming increasing in extreme weather uh, melting of polar caps in uh, polar regions uh, uh, sea level rises uh, spread of diseases uh, destruction of species loss of wildlife and biodiversity etc these are the effects of global warming uh, there are some causes of global warming uh, mostly burning of fossil fuels which causes global warming ne next uh, cutting down of forests which causes global warming uh, using uh, more transportation uh, resources at extraction rapid industrialization mining activities uh, industrial emissions human activities etc some prevention methods to protect our environment from global warming uh, uh, planting more trees that is afforestation uh, reduce the uh, uses of uh, uh, fuel efficient vehicles uh, reduce reuse recycle uh, reduce use of fossil fuels manage your energy consumptions uh, use public transportation etc thank you any queries or doubts Hello, my dear gentlemen. Hi, this is Amshay Prakash. Now I'm here to present the presentations of PPT of pesticides. First of all, we know about pesticides. It means contain toxic materials and chemical components with this harmful to agriculture. Let's discuss about types of pesticides. Where so many have pesticides? Types of pesticides. One of the herbicides. It means it kills the herbicides. And another, another one is insecticides. It means kills the insects. And the other one is fungicides. It means to kill the fungi, which are present in plants. And let, let's discuss about the. We are now we are our farmers, and we are using sprays by pumps and materials which are comes from companies. Impacts of pesticides. Impacts of pesticides. The pesticides industries cause the air, water, and soil pollution. The pesticides receive the washed along with the rainwater. It's added to water resources and it causes people drinking water. They enter the food chain, food chain, and cause problem by magnification. They are not target specific and also kill non pests. It adverse effects of mechanism of MLD. And we use alternate pesticides methods to reduce the pesticides by using. Uh, we are well known about IBM. It means integrated pest management. It is used for reduce the pesticides and increase the alternate methods. We are now well process one. I think that's a preparation process is used for reducing pests in our uh, crops 
by using cow dung and natural materials such as vapagu, vap leaves, and etc. When you have saved lands, we have saved nature. When you reduce the pesticides, when you also save the environment. By using organic pesticide control, we are always save the environment by using only organic pest control. In olden days, they are, we are not used pesticides. We are not well organic bio, bio pesticides. It means uh, pests, microorganisms kills some other other microorganisms by using teeth or anywhere. But that time we are not used pesticides and uh, you know, save the ecological balance of my magnification. Botanical pesticides. It means in olden days, plants, uh, some insects are killed, and the insects, and save and proper maintain the ecological balance. Nowadays, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Before if, I, before if you have any questions, please ask. How do you think awareness among the people for not use pesticides? Uh, by using uh, Jivamdra, it means we know it is prepared by cow dung. Uh, and it is there is no cost in our areas and we, we can also save the money and we can also thank you repeat again can you repeat again pesticide should be used uh, up to some extent or it should be banned totally i would okay but i think pesticides should be banned in overall yes because when we have banned these pesticides, we can also save the nature. Thank you. Can I show? Hello everyone, this is Madhav and I am here to present on a topic quantum computers, the greatest evolution ever happened. Uh, let me uh, start with the first evolution. This is the first computer. You all know, it is a big boy. It, uh, it actually takes a lot of space and uh, as the transistors in the computer is very large that uh, it just uh, uh, consists of so small number of transistors that it can only calculate a small logic uh, problems like abacus but let's get to the second generation computer or the latest computers what we are using now the computers we are using now are uh, also known as supercomputers and uh, you are seeing the picture here this is the cray one machine uh, which is uh, developed by cray technologies and it is a compact supercomputer as you can see it is a compact version of the first generation uh, although it is very small in size, but it does not uh, sacrifice the power. It has one billion times more power than the first generation computer. Uh, let's just take an example. Uh, the, first, uh, the first generation computer is only able to calculate uh, abacus problems or uh, some logical problems. But these supercomputers are nowadays using in uh, NASA, ISRO, projecting the other, uh, like, like uh, calculating the projections of the rockets. And these supercomputers are very uh, well known for their speed. But let's go, come to the future generation of the technology era that is going to be happen uh, uh, in the future. This is called as a quantum computer. 
this is the main theme of the topic and uh, these quantum computers are uh, very large in size although they are large in size but they have a, a simple principle called quantum quantumness and uh, we all know that quantum in itself means that it uh, deals with the atomic level of the particles so these transistors will be so small that we can't even imagine these quantum computers are so speed in uh, not by speed i think it is uh, uh, it is a way of uh, creating the problems and uh, reducing the complexity of the problems what we humans ask these quantum computers are uh, different from ai let's see how it is different from ai uh, we all think that ai is the sophisticated technology we have now but let me tell you ai just takes the uh, answer and uh, reduces the complexity up to level which is available in our daily life so ai does not reduce the complexity full but let me tell you these quantum computers have a thinking capacity more than the human iterative capacity so these quantum computers think more and they can create the sources not the problem solutions they can reduce the complexity level up to zero which will make humans life very easy then how this quantum computer works these quantum computer work on a principle called qubits let me tell what qubits are our daily machines or the daily computers works on a, a principle called binary bits which have zero and one which fluctuates to create the processing unit but let me tell you these quantum computers are 16 combinations of the binary bits that leads us to 2 power 8 time power of the normal computers so this will have a lot of logical and rational thinking so let me conclude that uh, quantum computers are uh, better in every aspect and we can expect, expect that uh, quantum computers may take over the world in the future before leaving may I have the feedback and questions yes please Yes, that's a good question. But uh, PCs works on the binary system, which is zero and one. But quantum computers works on qubits, which has the sixteen combinations of each bit. That leads to two power eight power of the PC you are using right now. Any more? What is quantum? Quantum computer is a computer which deals at the atomic level of the particles. So the transistor will be very nano. Any? Okay. Yes, they will uh, definitely replace the computers we are using now. And Charles Babbage. Okay. Okay. Thank you.
good morning to all my name is satvika sai today i want to today i created a ppt regarding success success uh, success means achieving goals in one's life and everyone uh, everyone wishes to be success in uh, success in life but success may dif success means differ uh, success differs from one person to another person and it requires hard work and efforts without achieving uh, we cannot achieve success without hard work and uh, a lot of efforts and uh, for some people success means uh, success, for some people success means uh, becoming rich and having a lot of money but having a lot of money but for um, but the reality is uh, success is much more important than being rich so if we uh, if we achieve our uh, if we want to achieve our goals uh, then it is uh, it gives an immense pleasure and uh, uh, and it is incomparable with being rich so and next one the key components of success it requires determination perseverance and hard work and continuously acquiring knowledge and you should have a great aim and uh, You, you can see the top indian great personalities in india who was the missile man of india dr apj abdul kalam and the first female prime minister of india indira gandhi who was uh, a statesman and a indian politician were the two two successful people in india you can also uh, the, the people who inspiring us and the, we can also see that uh, steps of success first we have to vision and uh, we, we should have a, a goal and implement uh, and planning to uh, planning regarding to our goal and implement the actions and that results into success and lastly uh, success uh, will differ from one person to another person and uh, which uh, success is not matter of luck that means uh, luck favors for only some time but the success uh, which uh, which depends on ourselves and the hard work is within our hands so success can be uh, so we can only su succeed in our life with only hard work not with the luck thank you any questions achieving goals in one's life with hard work determination perseverance we have a perfect uh, have a great aim in our life first then uh, first we have to planning and goal and then implement into results and that results into success we don't model for my role model i was interested in music so i um, i got for my goal uh, shreya goshal is my i am asking you
morning everyone my name is kalyani today i want to today i want to talk about the ppt uh, topic you are quite and you can listen what is internet internet is a worldwide system of network uh, network access internet stands for internet uh, interconnected networks now going to the end of slide introduction internet is a global communication system links together thousands of individual networks it allows exchange of information between two or more computers on a network thus internet helps in the transfer of messages through uh, email gmail and whatsapp and audio conference videos etc now go to the end of slide what are the impacts of internet before the spread of the internet students had to uh, through the many books to find the information that are need which were which was time taken process but nowadays students go through the internet um, to uh, search to search the uh, to search what have i done and the students show that the information uh, so that overload affects 20 to 30% of people uh, internet damage to social relationship and uh, intimate relationship can be degraded by internet uses no go to end this line the advantages of the internet communication education in communication uh, the people where are you to contact with the, the phone to contact with the phone to contact with the phone and uh, education research and security and privacy and go to the next slide the disadvantages of internet potential dangers of the internet negative impact on our physical health negative impact on mental health and uh, issues with the privacy uh, in in the presence of users of a mobile phone students uh, um, students are loss of the study and uh, any questions for the ask copy test was the Uh, we use the internet the in present generation the uh, students are uh, edit the mobile phones and uh, computers etc morning everyone may i can speak loud morning everyone this is m rakesh naidu from csid came here to speak a few sentences on my ppt presentation my favorite freedom fighter nataji subhash chandra bose nataji subhash chandra bose was born on 23rd october 23rd january 1897 in katak His parents are Janaknath Bose and Prabhati Bose. He completed his education in Presidency College, Kolkata. Later, his parents sent him to Cambridge University of Cambridge in London. After completing his degree, he returned to India and joined in INC Indian National Congress. Due to some, and he continued as a president for many years in INC. Later, due to some disputes from with Mahatma Gandhi and Jawaharlal Nehru. He separated from INC, Indian National Congress, 
and founded INA Indian National Army with the help of British, with the help of German people and Japanese army. Later, he had both slogans. Both slogans. He given many slogans and few of them are "Give me your blood, I will give freedom." And second one, "Azad Hind Fauj." And this inspired many of the youth to participate in Indian Army. And with the help of Germanies, he, with the help of German Army, he declared a war against the Britishers. And first time he is lost and he is kept under the house arrest. Later he escaped from the house arrest and reached to Germany. With the help of German people, again he declared the war against the Britishers and won one of the brigadiers of uh, England. And later, both both mysterious death. Many of them says that both was died in a plane crash during the flying to Japan. But many of them said he he has escaped from the plane crash and rest of this the life has. Uh, Led in a secrecy, secrecy, and but many of them declared in internets and books that he was died on fifteenth, eighteenth August, nineteen forty-five. Thank you. You can start. You can start. It was in morning. Good morning, everyone. My name is Lalita from Sri Sri College. Today, I discuss about the pollution. Pollution is the introduction of the pollution harmful harmful materials into the environment. Of the harmful materials is called as the pollution. Types of pollution: air pollution, soil pollution, noise pollution, and uh, we have changed this air. First one I discuss is uh, air pollution. Air pollution is the contamination of the air due to the presence of the substances in the atmosphere that are the harmful to the health of the humans and other other oh. other living beings that causes the damage to the climate or to materials. Next, I discuss about the water pollution. Water pollution is the contamination of the water bodies, usually as a result of human activities. So that is a 
neglect to affect his uses. Water bodies, including black sea rivers, oceans, and like it creates reserves and ground, ground water. Water pollution reserves and contamination which with these water bodies. Next, I'm discussing about the noise pollution. Noise pollution is the impact of a million of people on daily basis. The most com common health problems it causes of a noise, including hearting noise, NHL, NHL. Exposure to loud noise can also cause high, high blood pressure, heart diseases, sleep disturbances, and stress. So These health problems can be affect all ages groups, especially children. <laughs> Next one I discussing about the soil pollution. Soil contamination, soil pollution, and land pollution as a part of land degradation is a cause by the presence of the genobiotic chemicals or other alternating into the nature of soil environment. It is a typical cause of the industrial activity. Agriculture chemicals are improved disposal of water waste. That's it. Anyone asking any questions? Hi everyone, this is Anspandana Kumari. Now I am here to present PPT of importance of agriculture. Agriculture means cultivating soil. Um, agriculture means not only cultivating the soil, pro, uh, provide, um, produce food, um, produce food. Uh, it is also including for um, raiding animals, means produce uh, wool and other products. Uh, the climate of tansy is tansy is a is a one type of crop. Uh, that crop is biggest crop in soya is soya beans. Here uh, from agriculture, there are so many sources like source of life livelihood, wellspring of government, commercial. Uh, from agriculture, we uh, we can add a lot of money and source of food supply. Here, agriculture uh, linked with so many, uh, so many, uh, so many cult cultivation means agronomy. Agronomy means uh, crop production. Horticulture, horticulture means practicing the garden agriculture, animal science, etc. Here, uh, some of the agriculture methods: uh, nomadic heading, livestock ranching, sifting cultivation, intensive subsidence farming. Etc. Come to the Indian agriculture. Uh, in India, provides about 65% of the livelihood. Uh, come to the GDP from um, in India accounts for 27% of GDP. It contributes 21% of total exports and supplies raw materials to uh, all the industries in in uh, overall India. Uh, in India, growth production is 5.7%. I come to the food grains produ production 211.17 mg. Come to the next slide. Development of Indian agriculture uh, means basic issues. Those are revitalization of cooperative institutions, improving roller credits, research, uh, education, and extension, and also human resources development, land reforms, etc. And come to the conclusion. The, the above presentation clearly specifies the uh, uh, significance of agriculture. 
so it describes the uh, agriculture is the primary and also commercial value uh, agriculture is most important in our livelihood uh, the industries are considered as a modern uh, temples of economy but we can develop uh, agriculture inst instead of uh, industries without agriculture no economy or industry can survive for long um, is there any questions there is no agriculture we cannot eat or there is no economy in india we cannot survive without food thank you